Hi, my name is Tashi, and you're watching Beauty in the Bar. Today, I thought I would continue the Makeup by the Numbers series. My last Makeup by the Numbers video was really well received, and I had a thought that I might want to do a video where I go ahead and break down my makeup by color and category because I was kind of curious as I was doing my project pan, I was realizing that I was doing a lot of purple looks because the makeup that I chose for my project pan was purple. And purple really isn't my favorite kind of a look to do, especially on the eyes. If you've asked me, I would say I really like to do a lot of blues and greens because I find those colors really exciting. So I was curious, like, what do I have the most of? Did I end up doing a project pan that's purple because I have a lot of purple? And if so, why do I have a lot of purple if I really like blues and greens? Is it because my taste has changed? I don't really remember a time when I like loved purples and berries. So I'm gonna go through each category of my makeup and divide it by color and figure out what I have the most of, what I have the least of, and just talk about my thoughts on that, because why not? Um, and I'm gonna start with lip products today. I'm gonna do lip, cheek, and eye all separately. I will swatch the lip products and the cheek products most likely, but I'm probably not gonna swatch all the eyeshadows because I have done a ton, ton of eyeshadows and that would be a video that is hours and hours long. But I don't have so many cheek products, I don't have as many lip products, so I can show you all of those as I talk about them by category. We're gonna break them down. I have notes on my phone, it's gonna be great. Before we get started, please like this video if you like it. Please hit subscribe if you like to see more content from me. Let me know that you like this video, that you want me to continue doing these Makeup by the Numbers videos, and whatever pops in my head, I'll go ahead and do. And share this video with anyone you think would find it fun or interesting. And I think that's it. Let's go, let's get started. I'm gonna go um, from bottom to top by the colors that I have the least of to the colors that I have the most of. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what I thought I would have the most of as far as lip products go. So personally, I knew I had a lot of berries. It's not that I love berries, but I just knew I had a lot of them. I don't know how I've collected so many. It's not that I don't, I think berries look nice on me, but if you ask me what my favorite lip colors were, I would say like dark, deep red shades and pinks, like nudie kind of pinky things, things that go really well with any eye look because for me, eyeshadow is usually the star of the show, but we're gonna see, um, you know, how bright I was. So the first category that I have, like the lowest ranked category is other. Um, and that's other than basically reds, pinks, oranges, nudes, just other. And the only one that I had in other, so I might as well call this category black, is this black lipstick. This is the shade Friday from ColourPop. I don't think this is sold anymore. It is literally just a completely black liquid lipstick. And so I'm gonna swatch that for you. It is kind of old, probably needs to be decluttered, but that is what it looks like. It is super, super black. And I've only worn this a couple of times. One time I was doing like a date night with my boyfriend. He said he hadn't seen that color in a while and he was like, oh, you should wear the black lipstick. And so I wore it. And I think the only other time I wore it was to the premiere of Black Panther. But I don't mind having it, especially because it costs Five dollars. So I would replace it, you know, if I did decide that it was time to let this go. I have two clear lip products. The first one is very obviously clear. It's the Tower 28 Beauty Lip Jelly in the shade Chill. It's just a beautiful clear gloss. I love this. I have this on right now. Um, goes over everything. The little doe foot is purple because I do apply this over other things. So what I've applied it over recently is Jam from uh, Glossier, which I will show you later. But yeah, I really like this. I can't give reviews on everything, right? So let me just show you. I'm not gonna swatch this because it's just a clear gloss. It's just clear gloss, you see it on. Um, the other thing that I have is the Vaseline Lip Therapy Rose Lips for soft pink lips. And let me tell you, on me, this is invisible. It is just clear, kind of glossy, kind of balmy. The only reason I even included this is because it's a little bit more shiny, a little bit more oomph than a chapstick. So it is, but on, on someone else, maybe this would add some pink to your lips. On me, it is completely clear. Those are my clear colors. My next category are brown slash nudes. I used to have a lot more of these. Like I had a deep, dark brown called Limbo from um, ColourPop. I had Tansy from ColourPop, which is like a milk chocolate. I had a MAC lip pencil in the shade Cork. So the only browns that I have left are the Tower 28 uh, 
Shine On Lip Jelly in Almond. And this isn't even really brown on me. Like I wanted to return this because it is actually on my lips. It looks almost clear. When I was swatching it out, I mean, you can see that there's color to it, but you can't build it up to the to enough opacity for it to really show up as brown. So it is kind of like on the cusp of brown and clear. And the other thing that I would call brown slash nude is Pony. This is a Glossier Vanillic Lip and it does look very, very pink actually now that I'm swatching down my wrist, but it is kind of more of a nude. I definitely wouldn't think of this as a pink. It's definitely a pink with a lot of brown in it. And uh, unfortunately this formula has been discontinued, but it's, I, I will miss it. And that's what those look like. This is Tower 28 and this is the Glossier Pony. So Tower 28 Almond and Glossier Pony. The next category of lip products that I have is orange. And I have three orange, which I have really in my mind if you ask me how many orange or orange-ish lip products I have, I'm sure I would have said one, max two, but apparently I have three. So the first one I have here is Urban Decay uh, Vice Liquid Lip Chemistry and Streak. The thing about the Vice Liquid Lip Chemistry is that it changes color based on your pH. So you see the bottom, it pretty much is like kind of trying to tell you that it's like an orange coral color. When I first put it on, it goes on very pink. And then when it warms up to my skin, it takes on a very coral color. So I do kind of put it in the category of orange. That's what that looks like. It is warming up on my skin, so you'll see it get a little bit more orange over time. It is kind of a sheer glossy situation. The next thing that I have is the Tower 28 Lip Jelly in Fire. This came in the same set that I have, and this is just an orange gloss. It's super pretty. I love putting it over like either bare lips or um, the next lip product that I'm gonna show you just to like pump up the orange shade. Um, and this third one is the YSL Rouge Volup de Shine in 80 Chili Tunic or Tunique. And this is sort of like a reddish orange. And I just love this. It's very shiny, very balmy, but very high pigment. So again, this is Streak Urban Decay Vice Chemistry. This is the Tower 28 Lip Gel. Am I pointing to the right place? This is the Tower 28 Lip Jelly in Fire. And this is the YSL Rouge Volupe de Shine in 80 Chili Tunique. I really, really love that one. The next highest category is pink lip colors. Um, unfortunately, I have misplaced one of them. I just went around searching for it and I can't find it. Glossier's Vanilla Clip in the shade Bluff. I used it in another video. I'll go ahead and link that one if you wanna see what that looks like. It's a very light, sheer pink. I have the other three pink colors here. I love that one though. Um, and so you should take a look at it. But it is, I think, either being discontinued or already discontinued. So I guess maybe not. Maybe we should just pretend it doesn't exist anymore. Okay, so the first pink that I have is the Winky Lux, um, like lip color changing lip balm. You know the ones that come in this like pretty packaging with the flower in it, in the shade pink. And I'm gonna let that warm up with my skin. It's another one of those color changing ones. And then I have uh, the Tower 28 Lip Jelly in XOXO. Just a nice, pretty shiny lip jelly that has some color, but still is pretty sheer. And then I have this deluxe sample size of the YSL Tatouage Couture Velvet Cream in 216. I don't know what the actual shade name is called, but it's in 216. I'm not sure I've ever worn this once, but I have it. Probably something that should be decluttered. So those are those three shades. The Winky Lux is here. The uh, Tower 28 gloss is in the middle and then the YSL color is third there. So I'm really surprised because I would think I have a lot of pink lip colors. Like I would have thought that my, that might be the highest ranked just by virtue of like me liking a kind of nudie pink, a neutral situation but not even close. The next highest category is red with six. I have twice the reds. I feel like I never wear red lipsticks. So I'm like, how? How do I have so many red lipsticks when I feel like the number of times I break out a red lipstick is like maybe, maybe 25, 20, 25% of the time. Like for every five times I do my makeup, I wear a red lipstick once, maybe. 
maybe in a good month. First, I'll show you my sheer reds. Um, I have Glossier's Vanilla Clip in the shade Baby. This is a really nice, like, shiny kind of, uh, you know, what you kind of expect, like vinyl lip lacquer situation, but still, like, pretty sheer because these Vanilla Clips, they have a lot of color, but they are, like, a glossy sheer situation. And then I have Glossier's uh, Lip Gloss in Red Rouge, which is just a nice red lipstick. I mean, red lip gloss, obviously. Let's show you those. There is Baby, and then there is their Red Rouge lip gloss. Both really, really beautiful products. And then the more pigmented reds that I have. First, I've got MAC, uh, MAC's lipstick in 646 or 839 Marrakesh. This is more of a brick red. Like, it reminds me exactly of the color of a brick. And I've got ColourPop's Lippy Stick. Um, this is from their Black Collection, and it's the shade Pitch. I just got this, so you saw this if you watched my, uh, like, what I bought video. And this is kind of like a, a red with a ton of brown in it. It might even be considered a brown more than a red. You tell me. So those are the next two, the uh, MAC Marrakesh and then Pitch over there. And the final two that I have are kind of my biggest, like boldest reds. The first is Fenty Beauty's uh, Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored. This is what I would call a universal red. I know there's no such thing as really like a universal color for everyone, but I feel like this is a red that looks good on every skin tone and I really don't know how she did it. And I really like it on me. It was a very easy find because it just, it was like, this looks good on everyone. I'll just buy this one. And then, of course, there's LAX, which one could argue is sort of a very berry-toned red or even a berry. It depends on how you feel about it, but I think of it as a very, very deep red. And so those are those two. There's, oh, I always think my arm is going to turn a completely different way. Did you know, side note, that when you twist your wrist, you have two bones in your forearm and one of them crosses over the other? Look it up. Anyway. So there's um, Fenty Stunna Lip Paint and Uncensored, and there's uh, <laughs> LAX from ColourPop. So these are all my reds. Okay, now we're moving on to the final category of lipstick that I have. These are, this is the color that I have the most of, and you guessed it, and I said it, and I guessed it, Berry. I have seven Berry lip colors. The first one I'm gonna do is BerryBalm.com from Glossier. This is a Berry lip balm, but it has so much color to it that I put it with the berries and not like with the clears or with just regular lip balms. It is really quite, quite purple. That's what it looks like. It smells so like fruity and heavenly and it's very nourishing. I really, really enjoy that one. Um, let's just grab this one. This is the L'Oreal Glossy Balm in the color Petite Plum. This is in my product pan right now, and it's really beautiful, beautiful formula, beautiful color. The color, I think, has been um, discontinued, but the product is definitely still available. That's what that one looks like. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I've also got a couple of products here from Rare Beauty. This is Support. It's the uh, Dewy Lip Balm in the shade Support. It's a deluxe size. I bought like the, the little four pack of deluxe sizes so I could try out a couple of their liquid blushes. And then right next to that, I'm gonna swatch the matte lip cream in Transform. I don't use these very often, so I don't really remember the names. It's really unfortunate. This is more, really more of a red berry. So we got these two. This is Support in the Dewy Lip Balm, and then Transform is the uh, more like red, and that's the matte lip cream. The Urban Decay Staying Naked Device Lip Chemistry in the shade Third Base. And I'm just gonna swatch this and then let it warm up because it does go on quite pink on me, but then it warms up to be like a deeper purple. It really does change colors. So if you were wondering about that, the only thing I will say, if you haven't seen my quick reviews of these is that it tastes terrible. It tastes just, just awful. The next one I'm going to swatch is Urban Decay's, um, lipstick in the shade Bruise. These, these are the sheer lipsticks. I forget what they call them, but you know, like these have been on sale for a million years. So you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, 
But yeah, this is a shade bruise. I think that this is a nice formula. It can go on a little bit patchy, so I see why it, went, it ended up on sale for so long. So this is the lip chemistry is still kind of warming up on my skin. And then here is bruise right here. The one that I have on today actually, which is Glossier's, um, what do they call this thing? Generation G lipstick or lip balm or lip something in the shade Jam. It looks super, super deep in the bullet, but it actually is like a, like a much lighter wash uh, when you put it on but you can build it up, which is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just rubbing the swatch over it three or four times. That's what Generation G looks like. Generation G jam. That's what jam looks like. <laughs> I'm having a struggle, guys. I don't usually swatch so many things and I'm like really having a struggle. Okay, and the uh, final lip color lipstick is Kat Von D. Um, studded Kiss Lipstick in Wonder Child. This is now discontinued, but I just love this shade and it smells so nice. It smells like vanilla and it's like a shimmery, um, like fuchsia kind of violet color. And, uh, but yeah, this was discontinued when Kat Von D went vegan. So that's the last one way over there. That's Wonder Child. Those are all of my berry shades, all seven swatched out for you. So that is all my lip colors as I like clean off my arm. Um, and the categories, as far as like the berry doesn't surprise me, I am surprised that I have so many reds. Like I would have expected to have three reds and six pinks and it just really goes to show that like if you don't think about, look at and feel and touch and swatch your makeup pretty frequently, you forget what you have. and. It also goes to show that sometimes the things that you love to wear the most are not the things that you love to purchase the most and you wanna get those as close as possible so you're making sure you're using what you have. Like I wouldn't say that berry is my favorite lip color to wear. I wouldn't even say that red is my favorite lip color to wear but those are the categories of lip colors that I have the most product in. Um, I'm not like mad about it because I do think that I think I look good in those colors and those are colors that I get complimented on a lot. So I feel like other people think I look best in those colors, which, you know, I mean, it's fine. But yeah, I would think I ha I'd have more pinks. And uh, it, just, it just goes to show that I need to use more berries and use more reds. And it's a little bit hard because I feel like when I put on a berry lipstick or a red lipstick, then I can't do like a really bold, crazy eye color. So part of it is me needing to get more comfortable just doing whatever I want with my makeup. But I think part of it is also me thinking through, and I think Hannah was talking about this in a recent video, basically thinking about what lip color I wanna put on before I do my eyeshadow or putting on the lipstick first and then doing the eyeshadow so that I don't overdo it on the eyes and then have to do something like nude or pink on the lips to kind of like balance out the look. So anyway, I think this has been really interesting. I'm gonna move on to um, doing my blushes in the next video. And thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and let me know if, know if you'd like to see more of this series and if you'd like to see more from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.